All right, so I have an equation here, g of x equals tangent of pi over 2 times theta minus 4 plus 6. Well, from here, we're going to do our mapping like we always do. x, y. Here is where the difference is. I am going to pick five points within the period. So in the period I'm going to pick is I'm going to start from negative pi over 2, and I'm going to go to pi over 2. So I'm going to go negative pi over 2. After pi over 2, I'm going to do negative pi over 4. I'm then going to do 0. I'm going to do pi over 4, and I'm going to do pi over 2. And later this semester, you'll see why I picked negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. I need you to start seeing that now. All right. So negative pi over 2 for tangent, well, this does not exist. So I want to put Na, not applicable. That's a vertical asymptote. Tangent at negative pi over 4 is negative 1. At 0, it's 0. At pi over 4, it's 1. And at pi over 2, once again, we have another vertical asymptote, so not applicable. I am then going to do my mapping like I always do. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So this is 2 over pi x. Do the opposite. So we have minus 4. We're going to do plus 4. We're going to put my pi over 2 in here. And this gives me negative 1 plus 4, which gives me a 3. We'll put this in here. We're going to get, uh, what, 1 half, negative 1 half plus 4. So this gives me 3.5. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I messed up on my sheet. Uh -huh. So I put my 0 in here, I get 4. Put my pi over 4 in here, I get 4.5. And I put pi over 2 in here, and I'm going to get 5. Now, my y mapping, there's nothing in front, so I'm just doing y plus 6. This is still not applicable because these are going to be asymptotes. So my vertical asymptotes are now at 3 and at 5. But I put negative 1 in here, I get 5. I put 0 in here, I get 6. And I put 1 in there, and I get 7. So all we need to do is graph. This seems easy enough. We're just going to graph. Let's start at, let's say this, let's call this 3. Let's call this 5. So this would be 4. This would be 4.5 and 3.5. Okay, so now I got my points in here. So I know at 3, I have a vertical asymptote. Voila. I know at 5, I have a vertical asymptote. Voila. I know at 4, 6, somewhere up in here, it's where it's, that's the center of the graph. All right. So now I have at 3.5, I have 1. So 3.5, I have 1, which is below it. And at 4.5, I have a 7. So this graph is going to be doing something like this. And then, of course, it just keeps repeating itself and repeating itself, going over and over and over. But really what I'm going to look for is the one period here, and I'm going to look to see that you get this right. So exact same process, but different points because the period is different. So now let's take a look at cotangent. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzer, and these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe, as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics. <laughs>